हेलो एवरी वन लेट सॉल्व टू डेज क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे इट इज बेस्ड अपॉन फाइंडिंग आउट द इंटीजियल सोल्यूशन द क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ ऑर्डर पेयर्स ऑफ इंटीजियस एक्स वाई सच दैट एक्स टू द पार वाई इज इक्वल टू वाई टू द पार सिक्सटी सो दिस कैन फर्दर बी रिटर्न एज एक्स इक्वल टू वाई टू द पार सिक्सटी अपॉन वाई नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट इंटीग्रियल सोल्यूशन दैट मीन्स वील हैव टू फाइंड आउट ऑल द नंबर दैट डिवाइड सिक्सटी दैट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई or we can say that we have to find out the factors of 60 so how to find out the factors of 60 we'll write down its prime factorization which is 2 square into 3 into 5 number of factors will be 2 plus 1 we has add 1 to the powers and multiply them so this will be the number of factors so 3 into 2 into 2 that means 12 so we are very sure that there will be 12 values of y but now there will be some values of y for which the power will be a fraction 60 upon y will be a fraction so how can we turn this fraction into a whole number or an integer it can only happen if the y that is in the base this y over here if it is providing something to the power above or a multiplying factor to the power above so when can that happen if y is a perfect square then that can happen or a perfect cube or a perfect fourth power or a perfect fifth power sixth power so on so if we talk about perfect squares we have one it has been included in the factors four included in the factors nine if i put y equals to 9 i'll be getting 3 square to the power 60 by 9 so if the 2 in power is multiplied to 60 by y that won't make it a whole number similarly if i talk about 16 i'll be getting 16 to the power 60 by 16 so 16 to the power 60 by 16 this will give me 2 to the power 4 into 60 by 16 this would give me 2 to the power 15 so y can be 16 as well so we'll add one more value to this 12 then we have 25 so we'll be getting 5 square to the power 60 by 25 but that is not useful because in power we'll be getting 120 by 25 we are not getting an integer that means the value of x will not be an integer so it won't be counted then we have 6 square which is 36 that would also give some decimal value of x then we have 49 that will also give some decimal value of x so that's it we are done with the perfect square till 60 so we got 13 values of y so far so we'll write 13 Now, if you check with perfect cubes, we have one. It has already been counted in the factors. Then we have eight. If you put y equal to eight, you will be getting two to the power sixty upon eight into three. This won't give us an integer value of x. So remove this. If we talk about twenty-seven, then we have three to the power sixty by twenty-seven into three. This doesn't give us x as an integer. So this is removed. If we check for 64 then power is becoming in point so we won't go beyond that because you have to check only factors of 60 perfect fourth power we have already checked 16 3 to the power 4 would become 81 that is going beyond uh, 60 so we'll stop here since it is written integers over here so we'll be checking with minus that means negative factors you can simply put negative sign in front of factors and check once so if y equal to minus 1 then we are getting x equal to 1 how will be getting minus 1 to the power minus 60 this is equal to 1 upon minus 1 to the power 60 that gives us 1 so one more pair is satisfying for y equal to minus 1 so we'll add one more value to this we have total 14 solution so far if you proceed further If you put y equals to minus two, we'll be getting x equals to minus two to the power minus thirty. But then it would become one upon minus two to the power thirty, and this is some huge number in decimals. So for further values of x, so for further values of y like minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, you will all be getting something in decimals. All the values of x will be in decimals, so we won't be considering those. And so only one negative value of y is satisfying, that is minus one. now one more thing is mentioned over here which is ordered pairs now you know what is ordered pairs in ordered pairs we count pairs a comma b and b comma a 
separately but only when both the pairs are satisfying the same equation like a few moments ago we got y equal to minus 1 x equal to 1 if i reverse this pair if i make it minus 1 comma 1 so if i put y equal to 1 then i'm getting x equal to 1 only so we won't be counting the reverse of this so i hope you have understood what is ordered pairs both pairs are counted separately but the condition is they should satisfy the same equation even after values being reversed similarly if we check it for one more pair like uh, say y equal to 3 then we'll be getting x equal to 3 to the power 20 and this came when y was equal to 3 so if you want to count the reverse pair of this we'll have to make y equal to 3 to the power 20 and x equal to 3 in that case if you're getting the same value then it satisfies let me put uh, x equal to 3 then 3 to the power 3 will be getting a right hand side as y will now become 3 to the power 20 and then to the power 60 so not satisfying LHS RHS are not equal so only 14 pairs would be there so I hope this is understood how to do such a question you just don't have to limit yourself till the factors of this 60 you can move to negative numbers as well and you can also try to turn this power fraction into an integer so i hope the explanation is clear if there is any doubt please ask again thank you